Ted, where are we now? We're on Locust Street. Locust Street. Locust okay. Street. Right is... off Essex Street. Okay. And a uh, rather historic site. Yes, This I is guess where so. West Electric began its operations in Havel. Very true. Very yeah. True. It's a parking lot here, so a part of the building is gone. Yeah, an important part. Behind us, we have uh, still standing what they call the Grad Building. Okay. This was uh, basically an office building. It has eight stories in it and it was attached by a bridge to what was called the Winchell Building, which, is, which was located where those cars are parked over there now. And that basically that was, was manufacturing? That was manufacturing. Right, and right. Uh, it, I uh, was looking at the building a moment ago, and I saw on a, around the third floor there's a white outline of uh, a bridge that used to go from uh, the Grad Building to the Winchell Building. Oh, yeah. And the reason I personally knew that is because I was located on the eighth floor of the Grad Building, and the shop that I serviced was on the sixth floor of the Winchell, wow. so we used to run down to the bridge and then <laughs> run back and run up again. And I was a lot thinner in those days <laughs> than I am now. But uh, it, it was a historic time yeah. for West Lecter to come here. How many years was it at this location? Well, it, it opened here in about 1943, and it was uh, into the uh, 1950s when they opened a new plant uh, in North Andover. And what job did you have with, while you were over here? I was in production control work uh, here, I and then I was in uh, quality control engineering right. later on right. uh, at both of these locations. And uh, it, was, uh, it was an interesting time. Uh, in addition to the location here uh, on Locust Street, there were some facilities up the street they called the... Uh, uh, the Hayes Building, uh -huh. where they did some other assembly and testing work. And around the corner was what they called the Goldberg Building, and uh, that had some facilities in the lower levels. Wow. And, and also down uh, uh, along Essex Street, uh, uh, just before you get to the railroad uh, tracks Boston, there, right. they had some uh, activity in, in one of those cement buildings located there. Wow. So it was pretty well uh, spread around in, in this immediate area. Right. And in addition to that, they opened a plant in Lawrence, uh, over by the Lawrence Stadium, shortly after this plant uh, was started here. And then it was all brought together in North Andover oh. and uh, was now called Lucent. Now, as I recall, the largest amount of people there were uh, was like 12,500, but of course they were spread out as well, and that was mostly North Andover. How many people do you figure was in the Havel area at the time? I, I wouldn't guess maybe three or four thousand oh, yeah. uh, could have been uh, located here from time to time. But you're right, uh, in North Andover, uh, at the time that they had 12, 13,000 people, they were the uh, largest employer under a single roof. Wow. There were other places like Raytheon that probably had more employees, but they were spread out. Uh, that any of us who worked here, at, particularly in those days, would never have envisioned a time when uh, things would have gone so so badly for, for Lucent. Right. Uh, but for the time it was here and the time it was uh, in North Andover, I think they provided uh, great employment opportunities mm. for so many people. Right. And uh, a lot of people who went here uh, were taking college courses in the evening, uh, part-time, as well as going on to full degree courses. Right. So it, was a, it provided a great opportunity uh, for young people as well as for uh, the older people uh, who were transferring their skills from the shoe industry uh, to well, this electronic industry. Right. I remember my uh, my mother actually worked in this uh, the plant that's uh, no longer here. Oh, but right, right, right. Yeah, that's right. So uh, quite a few people. I had quite a few relatives, including myself, that worked uh, you know at the North Andover sure. plant. But my my mother worked here as well. Right. That was another interesting thing is that as you went around the plant, you found there were family members. Right. Uh, there are several families that uh, worked here at the same time. And this is why when you have a downturn, it has such a devastating effect because right. it affects more than one individual uh, wage earner. Very good. Well, Ted, thank you very much for uh, being co-hosts here on Around Town Chronicles. Well, thank you very much, Larry. It was good to come down. You know, it's, it's rather interesting to look around. You see other stately buildings around here, right. which were uh, emblems of uh, a thriving shoe industry. In fact, you can see the faded names of some of the uh, factories uh, on the outside. And to think that uh, in this same area, you had the growth of uh, an electronic business here, the Western Electric Company, right. uh, which were, uh, did much for the city and the people of Havel did much for the company. Right. So it, it's good to come down and reminisce. Talk about reminiscing. Uh, could you talk about your family a little bit? 
Oh, well, yeah, my family and I, uh, my wife Pat and I uh, are living here in Havel. Uh, we have, uh, I was born here, went to public schools here in, in Havel, very proud of that. And from there I went on to college and into the service right. and into well, politics. What part of service <laughs> were you in? I was in the Navy. Uh, I was in the Navy. Uh, I went to Mass Maritime Academy, as I've referenced before. And from there I went into the Navy. Uh, when I finished my tour with the Navy, I went on to Boston College. And just as I graduated from Boston College, uh, I went back into the Navy well, because yeah. the Korean War had, had, had started at that time. And after doing my service in the Navy, uh, when I came out, I came to work here at Western. And uh, I worked here at Western, and I, I had 30 years service with Western. And then from then, I, after I retired, I, I went into uh, uh, the politics, yeah. Pol yeah, government yeah, yeah. on yeah. a full-time basis. Right, right. And uh, quite a few people remember you as uh, president of the uh, council, city yeah. council. And then, of course, as mayor. Yeah, it was my my privilege to, to serve in those capacities. Uh, and, you know, I've always thought of Havel as being a, it's a great city. Right. It's a great place to live. I'm proud to be a resident, uh, proud to have brought up my family here in Havel. And uh, there's so many good things about the city that I hope we continue to build on that.